He was diagnosed with cancer in January 2019. He received treatment here at Beaumont and we lost our battle in January 15th, 2022 of this year. Our first interaction was um, Olive and I and our friend Sandy and her dog Rex were leaving the hospital. This young man came running up to us and said, um, hi, can I pet your dog? And we said, absolutely. And he was just super outgoing and started sharing his story with us right away and explained that he would be coming down from Midland every day. When we were leaving, we said, nice to meet you. And he said, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it wasn't our day to work, um, but we said, yeah, absolutely, we'll see you tomorrow. And so that's kind of what started the relationship. It turned into almost a daily thing for the next eight weeks. They came and showed up every single day just for us. And, and Deacon just absolutely loved being greeted every morning like that before treatment. It was really special to him to have, to have the love to be um, greeted by friends. When Deacon was here every day, we would come every day for him. Deacon was such a, a giving, um, caring person. He always wanted everyone around him to feel happy and comfortable. It really meant a lot to us um, just to see that it helped Deacon wake up in the morning and get here. The second she could see him turn the corner walking on the sidewalk, she would pull me to the door uh, to greet him and she would do this like whining, happy, um, sort of yay you're here kind of thing and um, then she would immediately flop on her back and want a belly rub. So he became he became a, a part of our family. They are like family. They've been in the room with us when we've received difficult news. Um, we love them so much. I mean, I was so happy to see her and hug her. Um, it was hard, um, but it was really wonderful to see her. Olive, Deke loved you more than anything, and we know that you love him, and um, I loved that she was looking for him today.